It's a battle for Pacific supremacy. But for any team coming up against New Zealand on this occasion, it's always going to be a tough ask. But for today's requested matchup, it is a tough ask that screams of an opportunity for the Samoans. And that is one thing they will take with both hands. What's going on everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the one off one of series where you get to decide what matches we play here on the channel. Today's request is coming from Oz who wanted to see Manu Samoa up against the New Zealand All Blacks. This is a matchup we don't see often enough and it's a matchup that the Samoans will be liking to see a lot more in the future if at all possible. Their team has undergone a massive change of superstar players returning back to play for their home nation. Names like Michael Alialatoa for one, of course Chris Villi in the second row, Tilini Sal in the back row, Jordan Taufua and Fritz Lee. That makes for a very competitive forward pack for the blue of the Samoans. Jonathan Tamatini will line up at scrum half and his partnership with Suetini at the fly out position will be crucial. But take a look at the rest of this back line. Nigel Awong on the left wing, but Tamua Manu at inside centre. Stacey Elliott outside with the explosive Alapate Leua on the right wing. At fullback, Danny Tuala, a special player and a special talent at fullback. Of course, they're going up against one of the greatest rugby nations in history. The All Blacks have had a recent downfall in years, but still a tough team to beat on any given day. We've got off their best lineup they can put together. If Samoa is going to do the job tonight, it's got to be against the very best the All Blacks can put out in that field. And it's been a season where a lot of names have really stood up. To group Takiaho, Lomax. It is the front row that the All Blacks have really settled on this season. The experience of Retallick and Whitelock in the middle of that pack with Frizzell, Kane and Savia along that back row. Smith and Son Moanga will be the halves combination with Jordy Barrett accustomed to his new look position at inside centre. Rico Ioani joins as the two outside backs now occupy that midfield with Kata Clark on the left wing, Will John on the right and Bona Barrett completing the 15 for New Zealand. Plenty of experience on the bench as well for these two sides. Guys have been around for a while. Tumanga Allen, remember him at the Hurricanes? Yep, he's still around and he's still representing the Samoans as well. Anade and Paiawa, two other players who have plenty of Super Rugby experience and will be well on their way to being established in the Samoan team. For the All Blacks, well, you know the names. Reese, Harvey, Weber, Papali'i, Barrett, Moody, Newell and Taylor. They wouldn't look out of place in the starting lineup, but for today, they sit on the bench. And of course, to kick off the matchup. Unfortunately, we don't get both sides of the haka, but the All Blacks will lay down the challenge. And what would it take to see a Samoan reply? That's what we want to see in the rugby game, but for now, we've got to do with what we've got. And that is the All Blacks kicking tonight's game off. Samoa in the blue. We are underway. One off, what if, and a chance for Samoa to really step Release. up on the international scene. A tier two nation underway with the ball early on. The Samoan gets a little short dip. dip and pops it back to the upper side of Lee. Across field goes Tuala, looking for a little bit of a territory gain, finds Will Jordan, which is very dangerous. Aaron Smith at the back, and Whitelock off to Lomax. Now, but it went down and finds Moanga, down the left-hand side. Plenty of room here for Richie Moanga. Grab a kick in behind, will be cleaned up. Oh, no, it's not! Moanga's picked it up, big chance, Savia. Inside Race. the 22. The All Blacks on attack early. Retallick. Oh, stolen from Lomax away. And now Jordan inside ball to Barrett's. 
Great defence. Home team. Samoa leading at the moment with some good work without the ball. No way through there for Iwani or for Smith. More good defence. Has Samoa pull on into the breakdown. Big turnover. Tamatini knocks it on. All that hard work goes astray. As Ethan De Groot dives on it. Aaron Smith, Lady Ritalik. Round the corner, nicely. Up from four, back comes Bowden Barrett. He gets no way through there. Smith again. Picked up and driven to the ground. First injury of the night. Doesn't matter what you do. They just keep breaking these players. And Brad Weber on the field for the All Blacks. No loss there for the visiting side. Crouch. That's for sure. Brad Weber, a very capable man at scrum half. Set. And that is a big blow for the All Blacks to lose Aaron Smith so early. They've got the scrum feed though. It looks tidy enough. Weber. Oh, it comes in closer. Gets the ball now. Feeds it wide. Yuani, big ball out to Will Jordan. And with from the play. Unmarked is the dangerous Jordan. And the All Blacks stop down for the only try of the day. Well, the question marks coming out for the Samoans already. They defended valiantly, but just spilt the ball when they really needed to keep it in hand. A big long ranking kick would have been the answer surely on their early position. But when you spill the ball inside your own 22 and allow the All Blacks a set piece opportunity like that, they are going to take it nine times out of 10. And the exciting Will Jordan out on that right wing. It's the first points of the night. Mixi Moanga adds extra two and after a quarter of an hour. It is the All Blacks leading here at ANZ National Stadium. Seven points to nil over Samoa. But take a moment to have a look at those views. The mountains in the background here are just sublime. As the concentration comes back to Sutsini who kicks things off and Sam Kane almost let that one slip by. And again, a bit of wind finds Caleb Clark. Barnes storming down the left hand wing, but a great piece of defense. Dan Tuala picks him up, straight down he goes. Moanga looks to take toll with the fullback out of action. But it is there on the left wing, they pick it up with our one. He finds support from Stacey Ely, who runs his way out the left wing. Out of trouble, and into the attacking half of the side now are the Samoans. Work to do with Slam, goes short side. They change back. Billy in a great little spark away to Illy once more. And Stacey Illy goes up to halfway, and now he's gone down with an injury. Shoulder going in, and it's like Montpellier all over again. The slider is certainly down, but Perez is making his way on the field for what well, has been the best Samoan player so far today. Stacey Crouch. Ely has been Find. outstanding. Sit. Now, the question is, can Perez do the same work? Nicely set up for Zalacini. Zalacini gives wide inside ball from Perez, and that's a hard run from Fritz Lee on the angle. Straight into his shoulder, Talatini again. Looks to his forward through the work of his time, it's Talini Sue. And Alatoa, he plays scrum half, and look out, Jordan Lay was on the rampage, he's found out Pony Leora! Who can't quite get away from Bowden Barrett. But look out when they go. Manu Samoa certainly have the spark. Near half an hour gone, it's still only seven points to nil. As Sonny Takiaho throws to the back, and Sam Kane drops around the corner nicely. Weaver to Mawanga, and he sparks in the hole again, but this side can't hang on. Somehow pick it up, loose ball on their own 10 meter line. Lee offloads it. Lay once more with another strong carry by the loose head prop. Thomas Heating flicks it back to Fuller. Knows a lot of these players so well from the time of the Crusaders. Pick and go from me. They drop it back and the advantage says referee not gained there from Samoa. Crouch. From the Richie Moanga knock on. Good defense from the All Blacks. Keeps them Sit. at bay but they'll still have to contend with the set piece scrum. Which has been 
Well started there by Samoa. Look at what they can do here. Sitsini to midfield. Put it again. Gives it inside. Now they switch it back to the right hand there. Sitsini again. The offloads coming thick and fast. Eventually they go through the middle and to ground they go with Alan Nuisi. Tamatini back around the corner. Numbers are sparking in here for Samoa. Two on his off from fullback. Oh my word! Get him off the paddock. Bone and bound. That's a shocker. Wiping out his opposite number, Danny Tuala, was dancing his way to glory. And the All Blacks will be down a man. And very quickly, Samoa, they have no option here. And it's how they want to play the game. Straight to the corner they go. Sertini adds a good 15 or so metres off the kick. Now the pressure's on. Lamb to throw. Five man line out, beautifully taken. Alan Luisi in the front, hits straight through! Oh, what a try! Samoa in the game! Well, straight off the five man line out. And down from Alan Luisi. How good was this? Salmazini away. And fly out, Sutini. Look at the dummy and the pace to go away from Sam Kane, who was defending at the base of the lineouts. Too good, utterly too good from the number 10. Now, can he convert his own try? That's the big question. Oh, you better believe it. Half time rings, Samoa draw level. It's 7-7, the All Blacks have been pinned back. And the two teams head to the sheds at half time. What an opening 40 minutes has been. A couple of big injuries, but all in all, Samoa read the scoreboard. Seven, seven with the All Blacks. This has been an exciting first half, but New Zealand have dominated all the ball, all the territory, yet somehow they're not dominating this match up by more. And that is all credit to the tenacity and determination of the boys in blue, Samoa. Now, can they turn this completely on his head? Can they do the unthinkable? Rizal and Zakiel fight over the ball. This is a chance for a turnover here. Quickly in it was Fritz Lee. Weber, he'll pick it up and he's driven Police. backwards. Great defense again. Whitelock has to play scrum half. Finds a second row partner, Ritalik, and the Samoans are all over those guys in defense. Limax out to Weber. Now there's a bit of space. Rico Ioani, he's got drawn and doesn't go. And he hangs on to the ball. Just over halfway. Ritalik to Barrett. Barrett through a couple of defenders. Ross Bowden still off the field. Weber, that's high. Not as bad as Bowden Barrett, but it looks like Fritz Lee. He may still pay the price. And Michael Elliott, so I can't believe it. He's lost his impactful number eight for 10. And the All Blacks could pull the league back in their favor. Well, with the penalty goal, which they have decided against. Sam Kane looking for the better option. And he instructs Moanga to go to the corner and now they get their man back, Bowden Barrett. He's on and the All Blacks are right on the attack. There's no Lee at the moment. Takiaho throws, Whitelock grabs. And the All Blacks set up a ball. This is where Takiaho is his most dangerous. Right in towards the try line. A couple short, falls out for Weber. And Brad Weber. Sneaky as you like. Spider Brad Weber goes over. Well, he is a very sneaky little scrum half is Brad Weber and you saw the eyes light up as the All Blacks ball piled on in Caleb Clark in the back and Brad Weber dots down on the left hand edge no Aaron Smith injured earlier tonight and just like that the All Blacks turn the screws man missing from the set piece and Fritz Lee and Samoa well they've paid the price here Richie Moanga adds another couple, it's 14-7. Match far from over, but still, that is a big try for the All Blacks.
just under half an hour left to play. Anyone's game. Confidence may take a little bit of a nudge there for the Samoans, but they'll battle on. You can guarantee that as Lomax takes the kick off down, and just like that, Samoa tried to disrupt the breakdown, but Weber has it under control. His partnership with Utalik is strong enough. Telfura over the ball, slows it down. The All Blacks have to work. Here is Savia, finds Takiyahu. Nice little offload to Bona Barrett. Now he links over Brad Weber. He's going to get two. Weber sent for the All Blacks. Third try of the night. And they are now on their way. Oh, Bona Barrett. Slippery as a snake. And a great ball from Brady Retellick as well. Well, it was Ali Savia. It was the face before. There it was. Retellick hit up just before. This time it was Salvia and his little forward momentum play with Samasoni Takiaho. And just like that, with a snap of the fingers, Bonham Barrett, lightning fast, goes through a gaping hole. And the strength, no question about it, of Brad Weber's game is the support lines. He's always right there on hand as required. 21 points to 7, the All Blacks now starting to take control in a 10 minute period without Fritz Lee has well and truly cost the Samoans as a 7-7 scoreline has turned into a 7-21 Satini gets his back underway they've not seen the ball for some time as Rico Ioanni grabs it down and again Talfoa's on there very quickly can't find the reward. The group does very well. Finds Will Jordan. He looks inside. Nice little Arnie Salvia. And when it rains and pours, the front gate well and truly open. Arnie Salvia at try number four. And the All Blacks are rolling home now. A little bit of a threat. A little bit of a scare from the Samoans. But it's been quickly blown away by the All Blacks. It's just hard to defend. So many good ball carriers. So many good running lines. And they just thunder their way through. A brace, of course, for Brad Weber. Arnie Salvi is on the board now as well. And it's been a very, very good second half display by the All Blacks. Of course, that yellow card period for Fritz Lee really did change the game. And from that point on, the All Blacks have taken over. Another two for Richie Moanga. And the scoreline now reads 28 points to seven. Samoa fading without much of a trace in the second 40. Sicily gets us back underway. Jordy Barrett this time. That could be a turnover. Just a bit slow on it there, Samoa. And he comes back to Captain Sam Kane. Rico Yuani on the outside again. Gets away from his would be defender. But Danny Tuala, the site, makes them pay. Puts them into touch. Well, down this left defensive side, Nigel Awong has been exposed a number of times in the second 40 minutes. But now a chance for a very deep line-out set. Oh, stolen from Metallic. Weber, Moanga, through the backs they go. Caden Clark, Hardy said his name. Charlie Barrett, ankle tapped. How good from Alapati Leua. They keep on down the short side. Caleb Clark can't get away this time either. Good defense, Samoa. Just when it looked like the All Blacks were going to nick another one. Some excellent last ditch efforts have kept them at bay. Lamb. Oh, he's lost it again. This time, Wylock does the damage. Takiyo inside goes. Mawanga. Wide for you, Arnie. Dunked with passing. Arnie Savia, just four metres short now, the All Blacks. Weber looking for a hat trick, can't get it there. Driven back by some good defence. 10 metres out now. Lomax goes wide. Retalek, even more numbers out here. Great defence there on Yuani. And Arnie Savia driven back from Mayura as well. This is committed defence at the moment. Retalek holds it up. Buffon, Shawnee Barrett. Acres of space. Holes all over the paddock, and the All Blacks grab try number five. Well, the early passion has come to a halt for the Samoans as the All Blacks just keep on rolling.
It was a good pair of defence here for Samoa, but just that time given there to Brady Retallick. He looked up, he looked around, he evaluated his options, and he saw a massive hole. And his ability to execute that pass away to Jordy Barrett was pretty good for a second roll, you've got to admit. With six minutes to play, the All Blacks now lead by 28, it's 35-7. And all the crowd want to see now is a little bit of consolation for these boys in blue. Mal Samoa have given it all they've got. They threw it all out there in the first 40 minutes. They are on level terms. What a take! Down the left side. Now it's a bit of retention for Awong. Here's Taufua. Oh, that had to pass. There's some holes in that midfield. Now they've all cleaned them up. Samoa looks through the middle. Chris Philly. Tamatini takes it alone. Not releasing. Oh, penalty All Blacks. Too fast in the breakdown. And Sam Kane gets a little bit of reward for his hard work. A minute and a half to play. I thought we could have been on something to get this crowd home nicely. But it looks like the All Blacks will signal the end to this one on their own terms. Well, there's some good opportunities there. Good take off the kickoff from our wall. But in the end, not quite enough to keep it alive. Issa Masoni Takiaho goes from Jamatelic at the front. Malaya says we've had enough. And the All Blacks kicking into touch to signal full time. And an emphatic second half display after an opening 40 fright against the Samoans. The All Blacks have turned heads and turned their own form around over 40 minutes. 7-7 seven, seven at the break. 35-7 at full time. Well, the All Blacks had work to do and they were given the pressure from Samoa. All the points for the home team scored by Sertini. He grabbed all seven. The tries for Adi Salvia, Jordi Barrett, Will Jordan and two for Brad Weber cap the All Blacks in very, very tidy second 40 minutes. Richie Mahon, five out of five from the tee as well. It was a game the All Blacks dominated, but it was the Samoans who really fought back hard, especially after going down very early in the matchup. They had their chances, but the yellow card to Fritz Lee ultimately put those to bed. The All Blacks with 11 line breaks, just four, signaled their intent to go hard at the tries, and that's exactly what they managed to do. A big win for the All Blacks, 35 points to seven, an exciting matchup here on One Off What If. Of course, remember this is the series where you guys decide what you want to see on the paddock, so put your thoughts and comments and suggestions in the comment section below, and your match could well be the next one we play. Until then though, thanks for watching as always, and take care.